Uh, there's a story there. There we go. Power trip. This story uh, is is a. I, f I feel, without being too trite about it, is Peak Victoria. Uh, this story by Matt Johnston and Karen Collier. Energy users face a so $1.7 billion hit on their bills over five years to supercharge an Andrews government green scheme, Parnell. It's very, very Peak Victoria, isn't it? Oh, well, isn't it just? So Victoria's <laughs> having its own little Green New Deal um, and, and the consequences of that are immediately visible. Um, look, you know, it's, this is, we know that this happens. When you change energy technologies, there is another upfront investment, prices rise. Um, we will see what happens in Victoria as a result of that. The rest of Australia should be looking very closely because Mm. The demands that there are in terms of transitioning power, while they're important, we also have to be really conscious of what the impact is on people. And that's a, and, and maybe Warren, maybe it's the not maybe, but one of the issues I feel for most people is the speed at which the advocates of renewables want the change. Now, on the on the far extreme of it, you've got the Greens and the rest of them who want it all done in the next 10 years, which, you know, and to hell with the consequences. And, and you know, on the other end of the spectrum is there's no urgency whatsoever. That I think part of the challenge here is the technology hasn't been mature enough. It is changing and it is evolving. And we just don't want to do damage along the way and, and, and by that I mean people, vulnerable people still need to be able to afford to pay their power bills. That's the basic. Look, I, I um, and I've been in New South Wales but I don't want to insult Mexicans by comparing Victoria to, to Mexico <laughs> but it's, you know, you look at, the, you look at the, the idiocy in this whole process. Uh, it, we've got the gas, you know, I've always argued the case we've got gas, we've got uh, plenty of gas in Australia and, and what are the two biggest states do? You know, Victoria and New South Wales in regard to this, they put, they, they put moratoriums on and banning that stuff. Yeah, if you're wondering nonsense. why your electricity bills and, and technology isn't moving forward fast enough, it's because of this. And, I, and look, I always laugh at these things and I always take on telling, oh, renewables the future, renewables are going to do this, renewables are going to do that, and it's cheap. It is so cheap. And yet every time I look, we're forking out billions of dollars yeah. uh, yeah, nationally and, and state-wise. <laughs> Could I just hop in and really what, briefly there, Gemma? Please. Do, I was just wanted to bring something to your attention, which you might not have noticed. On the front page of the SMH and the Age this week, you'll see there's a little thing about Germany's climate change illusion. And now, obviously, I haven't read the article in full, but I think what this is alluding to is Germany's attempt to transition to renewable energy very quickly, which has been mm. going really pear-shaped. Uh, so, and also, yeah, that's, that's right. you know, to that point. And also, the, the, the lies that are there. Look, everyone's right on about Germany, how they've closed down their coal mining. In actual fact, that's not true. They've actually, yes, they've, they've worked on the black coal, which is the good, clean stuff that which which helps in the in the transition process. And but they've still got 30, 40, 50 years of brown coal contracts still going out there. So, so yeah. The, 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 you know, this look, I, I just find it totally angry in regard to the taxpayers of this country suffer in two ways. One is that they actually got to fork out money and you look at all those people out there who can't afford these electricity bills and businesses out there. I know businesses talk about rural and remote Australia. They are, mm. are thinking of closing down, not because of the fires and the drought, because they just can't afford their electricity bills. And it's, this yeah, is what state governments are doing. Yeah, and you know my favourite moment of the past week, to your point, Parnell, was this whole, um, you know, when the, when the announcement was made about the feasibility study for the coal-fired power, coal power station, oh, no, let, let the market decide, except when it comes to renewables. Yeah. Let's not, let's not <laughs> subsidise it. I mean, the market must decide. The market must decide. If the market wants it, it'll pay for it. Oh, but we need to subsidise renewables because feelings, because feelings. That's that was right. my favourite moment. And there's so much oh, political week. risk around all kinds oh. of energy other than renewables at the moment that there is a kind of implicit political subsidy on renewables yeah. as well, which you just can't 100%. have to yeah, and, and, and my wallet's feeling really bad too, I tell you. <laughs> i got feelings. Oh, I bet it is. Can I just hop, I in, think we, hop in there? Please, just say, please, absolutely. It's kind, of, it's, it's kind of like the very basics of change management, isn't it? You've got to bring people with you on the journey. You've got to get it right. And so, first of all, people have to have confidence that what they're transitioning to is going to work. What they're talking about in um, Dan Andrews' Brave New World 
is up to <laughs> a million homes. They haven't even got it right yet. So why on earth are they talking about a million homes? You know, it's, it is. It's changed because it's ideology. That's exactly. what it is, it's ideology, it's not, not pragmatism. And yes. we saw what happened in South Australia with their energy system and their energy uh, supply when ideology overtook pra pragmatism. We could fill a yeah. whole show on this. I know. We must keep moving. <laughs> <laughs> I just about to say about Tasmania. Talk. It's really funny <laughs> that Tasmania's got, in the next few years, is going to have zero emissions. And why? And it's going to be actually exporting electricity to Victoria and South Australia is because of dams. Uh, and hydro, yes. and and, and yes. these are the these are the things that the Greens and and their and their mates are trying to stop us from doing is building these things. And yet, look at Tasmania. Mm -hmm. <laughs>